Wow, and that is where again that I have come to share the good news of Jesus Christ. The good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ I have come to share today. I'm Prof. Susanna Kurana and today is um, 15th of April 2021. So today I was like always sometime it's very uh, often because I get message all the time and you know it's like many message that I uh, message subject that I write and you know um, then when it's time for me to record to you know come and share sometime I don't even know but when I start that's where the message he reveals to me. So here I am in the same, like, you know, I say, I was thinking today, you know, it's like, I'm not going to, you know, uh, I'm not going to record any message. But then I was reading and I was reading from John, the Gospel of John. And, um, and then the scriptures just caught my eyes and the Holy Spirit said, you got a message. <laughs> I said, wow, because I saw the message and I got so passionate about it. And it's like, you know, you can sense it. The Holy Spirit want you to preach the message and he want you to share and he want you to just come and uh, share a message. So when I saw the message and I was like, wow, you know, it's like, uh, hmm, there is a message for me to share with these people. So I just, uh, um, you know, uh, set it up and I said, okay, I'm ready and I knew it. This is from the Holy Spirit is in charge. So I am not doing it anything by myself. I'm doing it with the Holy Spirit. So this is how I have come and this is what I have come to share the good news of Jesus Christ. I cannot do this by myself. It is the message of the kingdom of God and it is the Holy Spirit who I need and the Holy Spirit is the one who is in control. So now I'm going to share what Holy Spirit, what the kingdom of God want me to come and share. So this is where I am going to begin from John and it is from the gospel of uh, um, the gospel of John and it is from verse, verse, verse. I'm going to begin from verse, um, uh, from verse 27. So this is how I am going to begin. I'm Prof. Susanna Kwana. I have introduced myself. So now I'm going to share what the Holy Spirit want me to share with these people. So Gospel of John and chapter 6 and I'm going to read it from 27. Do not labor for the food which perishes but for the food which endures to everlasting life. So here he said that uh, do not labor for um, which and he's, he's saying do not labor for the food which perishes. So it's uh, do not do too much hard work for, you know, um, for the things I would say I would just use like for the things of the world like, you know. So he's saying but for the food which induce to everlasting life which the Son of Man will give you because God the Father has set his seal on him. So today I am sharing that Jesus is saying that uh, the food which endures to everlasting life, that's what he want to give his people, the everlasting food. So he's talking about everlasting food. He say labor for the food that, you know, um, that is for everlasting, endures to everlasting life. He carry on and he's saying which the Son of Man will give you. So this is uh, the everlasting food and everlasting, you know, um, that the food that endures for everlasting, which is everlasting life, which the Son of Man will give you. And God is speaking to his people that he won't give his people, you know, everlasting uh, uh, food, which is uh, everlasting life. His words. The word of the uh, 
a kingdom of God is the seed. And this is what God wants want us to have his seed, his word in our spirit. So he goes on and saying, because God the Father has set his seal on him. Because God the Father has set his seal, um, set his seal on him when he called him and he said, this is my beloved son. And that is when Holy Spirit came upon him and he got baptized and the uh, Father has, uh, you know, sent his spirit and that spirit came upon Jesus and God spoke and witnessed that this is my son and in him, in whom he is well pleased. Today I have a good news to share with you that the mark of the kingdom of God, this is what I like to come and share with you. The mark of the kingdom of God is uh, the mark of the Holy Spirit. So the Holy Spirit is the mark of the kingdom, the son of the kingdom of God the children of the kingdom of God. And that's where I have come to share the good news today that the mark of the kingdom of God, the seal of the kingdom of God is the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit came and put the mark sealed with Jesus' spirit. So he was sealed with the Holy Spirit and he received the mark of the Son of God. He received the mark of the Son of the Kingdom of God. He received the mark of the Here. He received the mark of a uh, 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 Son of God. He received the mark of the um, Child of God. So Jesus is the Son of God. He received the mark of Ear. And he received the mark of the Kingdom of God. He received the mark of the, you know, um, of son of God that is because he was sealed with the Holy Spirit until he got baptized Jesus was the son of the Joseph there was no uh, mark of the uh, kingdom of God although he was um, born by the seed of the Holy Spirit but until he fulfilled the uh, fulfillment, which is to baptize, and uh, until he received the Holy Spirit upon him, and it is uh, uh, that approved that he is the Son of God. He received the seal of the kingdom of God. He received the seal of the Son. He received the seal of uh, ear. So he became the son of the kingdom of God. In the Bible it says um, that we are sealed with the Holy Spirit and I have come to share this good news that uh, the seal, the mark of the kingdom of God, it is the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit is sealed with everyone. He came and sealed with himself. It is the Spirit of the Father and we have received the Spirit of the Father and call him Abba Father. As Romans 8, it say all those who have received the Spirit of the Kingdom, Spirit of the Adoption are the sons of God, are the children of God. So the mark of the Kingdom of God, this is what I have come to share the good news that the mark of the kingdom of God is the Holy Spirit because we are connected and sealed with the Holy Spirit. And that makes uh, us the children, the sons of God, the children of God. And that is what I have come to share the good news. What is the mark of the kingdom of God? And the mark of the kingdom of God is the Holy Spirit. 
So here Jesus is saying, which the Son of Man will give you because God the Father has set his seal on him. So God the Father has set his seal on him and now because he has received the Holy Spirit and he was sealed with the Holy Spirit and now he is the heir of the kingdom of God. He is the Son of God and he is on the throne of, um, he is on the throne, he is, uh, he is on the throne. And God has placed everything under his feet. So he is the one who is uh, the son. And I would share some more. It's, um, he said from, I would just uh, bring some more information. Because my whole point is sharing this message that the kingdom of God, the kingdom of God, uh, the mark of the kingdom of God, it is the Holy Spirit because Holy Spirit is the one who came to redeem who uh, who uh, we have received. It's the Holy Spirit. It is through Jesus Christ, accepting Jesus Christ and uh, it is receiving Jesus Christ and baptized in the Holy Spirit, baptized uh, as uh, Jesus baptized we receive the Holy Spirit and we have received the mark of the kingdom of God that has uh, uh, qualified us as sons, as children of God. So this is a good news I have come to share. Now I will take you to, um, I, I'm still uh, in the uh, book of John, but I would now read it from chapter 5 and I am going to read it from verse uh, chapter 5 24 and now it says most assuredly I said to you he who has my word and believes in him who sent me has everlasting life and shall not come into judgment but has passed from death to life this is the seed of the Holy Spirit and Jesus said that um, who believes in him, who, se who sent him, I will just read as according to the word. Most assuredly I said to you, I'm repeating again. Most assuredly I said to you, he who hears my word and believes in him who sent me. He say, he who hears my word believes in him who sent me has everlasting life and shall not come into judgment but has passed from death to life so here it is the um the mark of the everlasting life the mark of the son of god the mark of the children of god the mark of the here so the kingdom of God, the mark of the kingdom of God, it is sealed with the Holy Spirit. So we are sealed with the Holy Spirit and that's where I have come to share the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ. So he said, coming again to uh, chapter 6, John, gospel of John and chapter 6. He said in verse uh, 27, and I'm not going to read all, but I will read it from 27D, because God the Father has set his seal on him. So God the Father, who has set his seal on him, and he said, um, this is my point right now to bring it to you. He said, because God the Father has set his seal on him. So he is sealed. So he's connected to the Father. He's connected through the Spirit. So he, his Spirit is connected with the Holy, I mean Holy Spirit and Jesus. They are sealed. They are one. So that's how when you receive, we receive Holy Spirit. We are sealed with the Holy Spirit. We have become one. And it is the mark of the Son mark of the ear, mark of the children 
of God, mark of the kingdom of God. Wow, that's the good news I have come to share with you. There is so much it says about, you know, Holy Spirit um, that, you know, um, like in, in Romans it says, Romans 8, it says, um, um, uh, those who have received the spirit of adoption are now the children of God because of the Holy Spirit. I would just take you to the journey. I'll walk you through the journey of Romans. Let's just read Romans and then we will um, have more, add some more knowledge into this subject. And that is a, it says, so I would not read it all, but I would read it from 14. So now we are in Romans book, uh, uh, the book of Romans, and um, we are in chapter 8, and I'm reading from 14. And in 14, he said, for as many as are led by the Spirit of God, these are sons of God, for... Um, sons of God so but and then I will read it from 15 B but you receive the spirit of adoption by whom we cry out Abba Father the spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God that's the good news that Holy Spirit qualified us to be children of God Holy Spirit has qualified us that we are in God's righteousness. Holy Spirit has qualified us that we are the sons, we are the ears, we are the kingdom of God, children of the kingdom of God. Holy Spirit has qualified us that we are in God's righteousness. Holy Spirit has qualified us that we are the children of God. That is a good news. And that is uh, when someone qualified, it means it has got the qualification when one received the certificate of the degree, it qualified them that now this person is in that position, meaning if someone has uh, got a degree of uh, whatever the subject or whatever qualification one has done, they become profession. They are, you know, qualified for that. So here, Holy Spirit has qualified us that we are the sons of God. We are the children of God. We are the ear of God. We are the children of the kingdom of God. And that is a, a, a mark of a seal. It is a mark. Seal is someone's seal that this is mine. So when we receive the Holy Spirit, we become children of God. And our Father said, these are mine. They are my children. So we have become children of God. Children of the Abba Father has uh, given us his spirit, qualified us to be his children, to be the ear of his kingdom, to be the sons, to be the children of his kingdom, of, of his kingdom, the kingdom of God. Wow. So this is uh, a good news that I have come to share. I'm Prof. Susanna Kurana, and uh, this is what message today I am sharing that we are sealed with the Holy Spirit and that is uh, the mark of the kingdom of God. I have come to encourage you and I have come to bring this information as Holy Spirit wanted me to share and this is a good news I have come to share. I'm very sure that we are blessed. <laughs>